it's Nina from VR Focus. We are here with... Samuele Perseo from Forge Reply. Tell me a little bit about Theseus and what you're showing here at Gamescom. Uh, Theseus is a game that we have released on PlayStation VR on the 26th of July. And we're here uh, with the PC version because uh, it's going to be released in full for uh, Oculus and HTC Vive. So the game is about uh, the Greek myth. Uh, that's uh, where we start from. We wanted something the players could be familiar with. But then, as you can see from the trailers, or well, hopefully when you play the game, uh, we tend to uh, go towards a more horror setting. So for example, the design of the Minotaur itself is a bit different from what you could expect. And it's a game that it's based on the atmosphere. So uh, VR is important because it really lets you experience this setting, this story in a way that you would not, would not uh, feel the same uh, without the headset. So is it a story-driven narrative? Who are you? How long is the gameplay? What is your objective of the game? Yes, it's definitely story-driven, but it's not, uh, it's not just about the facts or uh, what you're told. Well, we have like Ariadne. Uh, in this case, she's like your spirit guide. Uh, but uh, other than what she says to you, it, uh, it feels really important for us that you really uh, settle into this kind of setting and feel what it, it's like to be like a normal person. Uh, we have a hero, but he's not like a conqueror or a great warrior. He's like someone who's definitely an intruder here in the labyrinth. And the Minotaur does not take gently on him. And you, you really have to justify your very survival and existence uh, within the labyrinth but then it's really based on the atmosphere. So we really hope that you can appreciate a new way of living this kind of narrative experience through VR. And the game is like two to three hours long. It depends on the pace that you keep where you're playing the game. We have like a heavy focus on audio, for example. So 3D audio, the fact that you can perceive things and also you are in control of the camera. The game is, well, it's in third person. What you see behind me is uh, not, uh, it's actually uh, what happens inside the game, not game cameras, but game situations, and the game is third person. We wanted to have like a different kind of immersion. So you control these cameras. Some of them are fixed. Other are like follow cameras for more dramatic moments. It's really something you need to try out. Because some people may, th may think that, okay, VR uh, equals to first person. We really wanted to do something that could still feel immersive, but different. And good news, if you are a bit afraid of VR or motion sickness, uh, third person, in this way, uh, it's very uh, good to, for limiting to actually a minimum. We, we, we've done our best. <laughs> we hope that you can actually enjoy, enjoy the game yourself. Fantastic. And uh, besides this game, if it's successful, are you thinking of perhaps adding more, adding more story, adding more things to it? Well, uh, this game is like self-conclusive, uh, but we would definitely like to uh, work on other games in the future. Uh, we have worked with uh, you know, Real Engine, we're very happy with it, so we'll, we'll try to evolve and uh, iterate on, on what we've done here and present you with uh, new stories, new games uh, to enjoy. Fantastic. So where do we go to find out more information? Uh, we have a Facebook page, uh, that there's the name of the studio, so Forge Reply or uh, theseus-vr.com. You can find all the trailers and screenshots and information on the game. Fantastic, thank you so much. Thank you, goodbye. Head over to vrfocus.com if you want to find out anything about VR and I will see you there.